All right, guys, part two of this. <laughs> so it just kind of gives you an idea also of what my property is like uh, once you're off of the meadows. I mean, there's spots down here that could be developed. Obviously, like you go up the hill here um, as well. But, you know, accessibility is going to be the issue. So, we get this opened up and, uh, you know, and do that. Then we could definitely do something, you know, cut this back if we had to. And all those type of things. But, uh, right now, obviously, it is, uh, you know, there's a lot of scrub brush trees through here. So, again... I want you to look. <clears throat> that is a straight down drop, guys. Um, it goes straight down all the way down to the very bottom where the creek is. And like we're at, again, where we're at here, we're on a ledge. And then, like I said, that goes, if you look, let me turn that up. Um, it goes all the way up and then into the meadow up there. So it's very difficult uh, terrain, to be honest with you. But, I mean, it could absolutely, other areas could be developed. You could put roads, like I said, get you utilize this as the road and uh, get to a point where, you know, you get this opened up. You could tuck, you know, something into the hillside you know for people if they wanted to and then that way they would be tucked in out of the way and out of the weather you know as long as they had access to be able to uh, you know get where they needed to be so we're going to be heading down here in a minute but I kind of wanted to show you that too you can hear the water flowing that way um, better because it's coming around from this side um, funneled in from both sides of that hill and it goes down in there and then that ends up kicking kicking in and connecting um, with another creek so we're heading down now and then we'll turn and we're gonna be heading back up but again that's the terrain you're dealing with you know so is it workable? Could we do stuff with this other part of the property? We could, you know, but it's going to take a, a tremendous amount of time. And like I said, there's other things that are a priority right now. You know, rain catchment, uh, also getting, you know, getting the, uh, you know, uh, greenhouses up and going. Right, let's get... All right, now what you're gonna see here, and I'm gonna show you this. So this was part of it coming up. This one here continues down, that kicks around. But I'm gonna show you something over here. We'll take a walk over here real quick. And I'll just show you this, because it's, it's actually really, really cool. If I could stay on my feet, it would be helpful. All right, so. You see the rock right there? There's a rock right there. It just, it's a sheer drop off. Um, actually, we can, we can walk down over here real quick. It's not that far out of the way. But again, these are areas that if you wanted to, you know, tuck in a, a lookout observation post type of thing, you know, up in here, up there, looking down, because I want you to realize here, okay, we're in the middle of the woods and trying to have somebody come in from this angle. Is it impossible? Absolutely not. It's not impossible. Come on, girl. Ooh, that was slimy. Yeah. Here comes the girl. So we're just going to walk up over the top of this. Actually, this may be a three-part video, guys. Just... Uh, so you know ahead of time, but uh, I just it gets to sh it gives you an opportunity um, to see what this property is like. Look at that shear. You come, I mean, it's a, it, it's straight down here, and then bam, 
and then once you get to there it's just straight down again and now if you look down here you will see the creek down on the bottom and it flows around here um, that again that's the property line so as you're as I walked the creek um, God, two years ago now? God, I can't believe it's already two years ago. When I walked the creek two years ago, you would see the tags. So all the way down to the creek bed is my property. And then when you go the other side, you can see um, that side goes straight up to, and there is, you know, the next um, top of that hill. So it kind of gives you an idea how deep we are right now where we're at because I can see over this hill from the meadow, okay? So you look at where we're at here, and then you're looking up. Uh, it gives you a, a lot more of an indication how deep down in here we really truly are. And now we're going to start working our way back up. get back on this trail I mean so there's there's trails here that we could work with uh, you know we definitely again would it be impossible to dig in three four more feet here no not really you know so it's definitely uh, a possibility for that and uh, Okay, so now, and you can see it's been a while since this has been used. I mean, these trees here, this one here, these are newer trees. You know what I'm saying? So that is, uh, all right. So it's not like it's a nice, flat, straight road. Um, around here it is not so all right. and but again you can see if you're looking over that way so I'm just gonna hold the camera that way so you guys can see are slowly working our way back uphill at the moment ay, ay, ay. we'll turn this around I'll kind of show you here as well so we were down all the way around that corner but it is it's beautiful it's peaceful um, it's not like you're going to have to worry about a lot of land development down through there. You can see a house up over there on that hill. Uh, so there's there. But, you know, this is realistically the only time of year that you can see that. When it's spring, summer, or fall, Forget about it. You can't see anything. <sighs> All right, so it opens up more here, as you can see. Uh, a better trail. Like I said, those are newer trees there as well. But uh, it does get better over here. And uh, Yeah, I may make this walk a three-part walk just to uh, try to keep it I only got like 28 or 29 minutes of videotaping available and the first video was like 11 so so I'll show you I want to show you something too a lot of natural channels where the water comes down and right here is one of them oh and there 
Actually, we could probably just go this way instead of kicking around. Well, actually, the road kicks in over here, but uh, that's a natural channel coming off, and there's Mark's cabin. So, eh, maybe I'll just keep this one going for a few more minutes because we're going to be heading up uh, ah, 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 this way. If you continued down the trail this way, you would run into um, the other uh, part of the creek. And the creek, again, it goes all the way around. It wraps around my property. But uh, right here, like I said, if you go where, where she's standing right now, that would go down. I may do another video of that, but I'm going to have to clear out these two first. But right now, we're going to go this way. We're going up again. And we cleared this out uh, more so two years ago. And you can see that the water has cut into here again. Uh, there's a lot of stone through here. A lot of stone that could be picked up to you, be used, uh, you know, in a fireplace or... Or something to that effect I think that would be a really cool way uh, of doing something you know so but uh, uh, you don't realize folks by just the video of how steep this is <laughs> but this is steep and uh, but yeah so this is what Mark's uh, cabin or the deer blind as we call it overlooks so he sits there and he overlooks um, all of this here so <sighs> all right I am going to end this video here and make this last trek up through there because it's not going to be fun and I'm sure you don't want to hear me sucking wind so I'm going to jump off for right now remember folks we truly are all in this together we are one race called the human race. I hope you've enjoyed this walk too, to be honest with you. I really do. Uh, it gives you an idea of what the property's like and what it looks like off the meadows, especially this time of year. So uh, also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's gonna happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one stopping you is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.